Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to install Android TV on your Mac using Android Studio. And yes, you'll also learn how to sideload apps like Netflix, which are not available on the Play Store for virtual Android TVs. So let's get started. The first step is to open any browser and search for Android Studio for Mac. Open the first official link from developer.android.com. So this is the official Android Studio website from which you can download Android Studio. Just click on the Download Studio button and a pop-up will appear. Now, just accept the terms and conditions. Once done, you can select the version of Android Studio depending upon your system's architecture. So if you have an Intel Mac, you can download this file. As I have an M2 Mac, I will be downloading this file. Just click on this button and your download will begin. As I have already downloaded the file, I am skipping this process. Once downloaded, close your browser. Now, double click on your Android Studio DMG file to run the installer. Drag and drop the Android Studio app to your applications folder. Once done, close this and open your launchpad. Here, Click on Android Studio and proceed with the installation steps. The steps are very simple. Just follow the on-screen instructions to install Android Studio on your Mac. So this process may take some time depending upon the speed of your internet connection. Once the installation is complete, just click on the finish button. So once the installation is complete, the Android Studio application will open. Here, you will have to click on more action and then click on virtual device manager. Now click on allow to allow internet access to your Android Studio. Now click on the plus sign and then select TV from the left panel. Here you will see three different versions. You can select any one of them that you like and you can click on Next. Now, you can choose your Android version that you wish to install. So I will be installing the latest Android version which is version 14. Once selected under System Image, you can select either Android TV or Google TV depending upon your requirements. You can just click on this small download button to download the specific SDK components. In my case, I am installing the Android TV version 14. So this again might take some time depending upon the speed of your internet connection. Once all the files have been downloaded, just click on the finish button. If you wish to install Google TV, you can download the corresponding SDK files. Once done, click on the finish button. Now your Android TV is ready. Just click on the play button to run Android TV on your Mac. So you will need to wait a couple of seconds for Android TV to boot up. You can use the command plus up arrow keys to increase the window size. So congratulations, your Android TV is now ready on your Mac. Now, the first step is to go to settings and click on accounts and sign in. Here, type in your Google account details and sign in using your Google account. You can use your keyboard arrow keys to navigate through the Android TV. Moving on, as we know that there are certain apps that are not available on Android simulations. For example, if you go to Play Store and look for Netflix, you will not be able to find it. What we have to do is sideload these apps onto your Android TV. So follow the next steps carefully. For downloading unavailable apps, we will be using the Aptoid Play Store. So now, open your browser again and search for Aptoid. So Aptoid is an alternate to your Google Play Store. Just click on the first official website link and under the Aptoid app, click on the download button. So you will see that the aptoid.apk file will be downloaded to your desktop. So as I have already downloaded the file, so I will skip this process. 
Now close your browser and on your Android TV go to your Play Store. In the search bar type file manager and download and install any file manager of your choice. Once downloaded, open your file manager and allow access to it. Once the file manager is opened, just drag and drop your Aptroid APK file onto your file manager. And it will automatically start installing the Aptroid application on your Android TV. Once the application is installed, go to your apps folder on your file manager and open the Aptroid application. So just like Play Store, you now have an alternative Aptroid store. Now click on search and type Netflix. Here click on the second application which is of 79 MBs and then click on the install button. Now grant permissions to the Aptroid application to install the Netflix app. Now this will take around a while and your Netflix application will be downloaded. Once downloaded, click on settings and allow access to Aptoid to install applications on your Android TV. Now click on the install button to install Netflix application. Once installed, you can click on the open button and enjoy your Netflix on your Android TV on your Mac. If you face any lag, you can just click on these three dots and then click on edit. Now go to additional settings. Here you can modify any settings that you like. For example, you can increase the storage space for your Android TV. You can also increase the number of CPU cores to improve your performance. You can also change your graphic settings and even RAM. Once done, just click on the finish button. To boot into your Android TV, just click on the play button. Now click on this power button to start your Android TV on your Mac. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you face any issues, just comment down below and I will get back to you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this. I'll see you in the next one.